Today I'm going to demonstrate a front foot elevated uh, split squat with the heel hanging off, so we're loading a little bit of the calf and soleus there. So side view here, keeping the toe on there, heel is off. You don't let it drop, you try to stay level or even just a little bit up. Drag that rear foot behind you. Then from here you can just uh, up down through this movement, okay? Keep a little bit of forward lean so you're loading over that front leg. Coming down, touch the knee, come on up, okay? Down, touch, back up. You can even go a little bit back if you want. You can extend through there, be a little bit forward back. Either one I'm fine with. Come through there, a little bit different of a movement. Loads the legs slightly different, but both are good. The main purpose right now is trying to get some rigidity in that calf. So you can isometric load for the calf. So front leg elevated, front. Make sure the hips are as level as possible. You don't want to see this dropping out, right? You don't want to see that type of angle. Get that hip under you so the femur is more of a straight line lined up over the foot, through there. As you go down again, don't let that drop. You're staying level, into there, okay? Level, into there. Helps hands on the hip. Generally, I like people getting a little athletic position or if you're coming back and forth. I just find this way, it's a little bit more unstable, whereas if I'm staying over top, a little bit more stable. 